So, in today's video guys, we're talking about this new Goku here. Wait, should, is he called Goku? Like, I thought it would be called Kakarot, because the event's called Kakarot. Uh, anyway, we're talking about this new Goku, how to get him with the 14 stars as quickly as possible. Obviously, his R stars actually probably one of the best rare play ones I've had in a while, I'd say. Um, a lot of people did expect, like, it was going to be an Ultra by how good it looks, but he's just regular free play unit. But, yeah, let's have a look at the quick way to get him done, right? So, obviously, we'll have a look at the event, just a little rundown. It is the same sort of events that we usually have for these free play units. So it's very simple. Uh, what's the total of six stages? So you have three just the normal ones. Missions, very easy. I just didn't get them all done just because I like, basically just blaze sort of thing. But, you know, use a main of Goku. Doesn't have to be the new Goku, just any Goku. One switch. It's just very easy stuff, right? Uh, now, you do have this bonus, like, bonus, uh, bonus battle per day to do. And, um... Yeah, as you can see here, it's just simple stuff, just clear it. You know, nothing too hard there. Uh, yeah, again, another one here. This is just for your equipment here, which I'm not too sure how good it is. It's, okay, not, not too bad. It is really event exclusive as well. I mean, I, okay, I guess, but I thought that'd just be just a regular equipment, but that's, it's still okay, right? Uh, yet again, rewards from that as well. Now, I should point out, with this unit, this is, well, this free play unit, by the looks of it, you can't do it the old, well, the quick way that I used to do, right? It's just basically just farm it straight away and co-op. And you can get it done in a day, but I don't think you can do it. I'll have a quick look, actually, before we look further into it. Because there is special missions for this Goku as well, which they don't look too difficult at all. It's just very normal stuff, right? So, let's have a quick look down here. So, yeah, no co-op, right? So, as you can see here, this is where you get all your total Z power. Just... The first two there, just events, and then you got missions, and then special missions, right? So, let's have a quick look at the rest. Uh, this is a challenge battle here, which I don't usually do videos for, but since you have to get the Z power here anyway, I will do it. Now, before I do this video, I'll just give a heads up on this one. Try and get the Goku, this new Goku, into at least the red star section. Doesn't have to be 14 star, just at least very high if you can, as high as you can. Sort of thing. Uh, let's have a look at the normal missions, right? Because obviously I have the missions and the special missions, which I'm pretty sure you have to get a key from the first missions. So, yeah, you got the Kakarot missions here. Uh, complete all missions, so you just got form a party of them, to so just make any party. Raise them to level 5000, so max level. Get in the godly class. You know, pretty simple stuff, right? As you can see, just battle using them five times. Doesn't have to be PvP. You can use them anywhere. Get Kakarot medals. Which, I don't think that'd be too hard. Uh, complete one challenge in Kakarot. So the challenges are just in the event, right? So I'll, I'll quickly show you. So challenges are purely just these here. Uh, here. This this is all the challenges mean. It's not like the missions itself. It's just clear these, right? So pretty simple stuff. I just, maybe what I should do... Real quick, because I think from this you get like 10 per day, or some like that. I guess we can just do it now, right? Um, yeah, might as well. So I've got Goku there. Obviously, UI Goku, I can't be bothered quickly making a team and all that, because I've even leveled him up in that. So we'll quickly go in and get this done. Uh, there is also a new event coming out soon, I would say. Probably maybe next week, which is the God Battle as well. And I'll have a video for that, because that sounds very interesting for, you know, the event sort of situation. Not PvP. I don't think it's PvP, I think it's just normal events. So, as you can see here, Broly does have a little bit of health, but yet again, like, we're not, you're not going to struggle during this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can, Rising Rush. Yeah, just as long as you don't die, sort of thing. Which will be fine, right? I mean, that is a fair bit of HP, I guess. But we'll probably Rising Rush we get the chance to sort of speed this up a bit faster. You don't have to if you don't want to, but yet again, you have to try and get within that certain time account. And this is only once per day, so... And then what we'll do is we'll also just do like a normal event. Well, not, not, not normal event, but... One of the three missions, and then we'll just, um... I think maybe, should we use 100 energy or just 10? I think maybe we'll do a hunt, we'll do 10, 
see how many we get, and then we can roughly work out per energy how much you get. Because I'm assuming you're going to get one metal, like one Kakarot metal per, like per run of energy. So we'll have a quick look. Hopefully this finishes here, it should. No, okay. Try and get this over and done as quick as possible. Okay, Broly, that's cool. But uh, yeah, Goku can just do that, pretty easy. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, this should just be the 10 nettles you get. It's either 10 or 20. 10 or, 10 or 15, I think it is. So, obviously, if you're trying to get these missions as quickly as possible, you have to also look at... Okay, you get 30 per day. Is it per day? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so one, yeah, one per day, right? Um, what's the quickest one we can quickly do? Um... Not that one. What's this one looking? Two switches? Alright, that's easy enough. I guess I can also show here as well, because if you're still free to play, not free to play, but if you're new to the game, you're not too sure what these are. These mechanics, at least I can quickly show. Actually, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do like a beginner's video, just to sort of like go fully in depth into the game. I don't know, leave a comment down below if you got guys like to see that sort of thing, like a beginner's sort of guide video sort of thing or maybe a series i'll talk about like individual things like events pvp and all that i think that'd be pretty good right all right let's quickly get these switches done oh, yeah, i forgot he can lock a little bit annoying switch switch done all right try and get this done as quickly as possible it is fairly boring these sort of events i will admit these little events but at the same time, at least with these, as soon as you get them done, you know, you can sort of skip it, like... Which is probably one of the good things where, like, for example, when Dokkan, like, Dokkan Awakening Medals, you have to farm it up each run. Yeah, you know, at least with Legends, with these events, you can just skip to get it, which is a lot easier. So, that will finish off that mission, or that challenge. So, we got one there, right? That's obviously one energy we use. So, let's just do... Oh, I did do rematch. Uh, we'll quickly cancel real quick. I forgot. I was meant to go back. You can do it this way if you really want. It's just going to take a lot longer to get done. Obviously. Uh, quickly go back. It's only one energy. It's not going to matter. Equipment Bananas is also on as well. So I'd probably recommend people get ready to farm up for that on the weekend. Um, right. Let's just do the 10. Just to get... Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's one per energy. But I'd rather get confirmation for I recommend people do this and this and... Okay, so you get 18. So I guess it's a random drop then. Maybe what we should do real quick for... We'll talk about the missions again. Is just have a quick look when it loads. I want to see if there's like a bonus effect. Uh, let's see. Take on a difficult event we already talked about. Da 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 da. No, okay, so I guess it just stops randomly, so... I guess that's good in one way, but now I can't really recommend how long you have to farm this up, right? So, I guess it just all depends, right? So, we'll talk about that. Uh, let's have a look at the special missions, right? So, obviously, for the special missions, like I did show, you have to get all these missions done to get the key here, right? And once you get this mission key, you go down to the special missions, which are these ones here, the limited ones. You unlock it with the key, and then, as you can see, you obviously get... Actually, what does this look like? Eh, not bad. So, these are the other missions, right? They're obviously locked. I mean, I wish they'd, un like, not unlocked. What's what I best say? Like, they're not quite unlocked, but you can still do these challenges and that, or missions. And then when you unlock, you get the rewards. But, as you can see here, just carry our characters, probably about 100 times. Yep. Uh, this doesn't have to be PvP. It can be events, PvP, co-op whatever just KO a character uh winning co-op so it's not limited per day just win turn co-op matches so you can do that really easily pvp 10 times only yet again fairly easy equipment not too hard at all just do re-rolls that'll work a lot of people get confused that you can re-roll it's not just simply upgrade a new equipment every time 
And then just land any Super Saiyan character strike skill. Obviously strike skill is the, um, the fist one, right? If you're a bit confused. So just do that. Yet again, blast skills, the yellow one. Special moves, blue one. Strike skills, green one. So it's just... Like, you can see what I mean, right? It's just simple stuff. But when you go through it, just double check. Because obviously, as you can see here, it's Sun Family, Super Saiyan. So actually, I'll quickly show a quick trick, right? So the best way to get these done, as you can see here, you got Saigas from the movies, Sun Family, and Super Saiyan. The best way to get these done, as quickly as possible, is probably using your Goku, right? And I'll quickly show you why. Because with the new Goku, for example, when we have a look at his kit, go on the details, go down here, he's got all of them, right? Super Saiyan, Sun Family for character tags, Saigas from the movies, right? Now, you don't have to use this Goku, obviously. It's just that's going to help out. But any other Goku, right? So if we go for another Super Saiyan Goku, um, this Sun probably work as well. So go in details, go down here, get again. Super Saiyan, Sun Family, Saga for the movies, right? So you're covering all of that in one character. So you're not doing like, oh, I'll bring this god Goku, right? Get him to do the strike one. Oh, now I've got to do the blast one with a Sun Family. So, you know, you know what I mean? Like, if you get that done, you're doing three missions at once. So, I think, well, multiple missions at once. So, that's the thing. With Legends, you have to really look into the details. And you can speed run most of these fairly quickly, as long as you pay attention, right? So, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Yet again, it's fairly simple to do. Just basically play the game and just keep up to date with your missions. And, um, yeah, if you guys need any help or anything like that, just uh, leave a comment down below. And I'll do my best as usual. And yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you as I win the next one.